How are we all doing today? Today we're going to be putting on a Millions High Volume Oil Pump on my Jeep Wrangler. I see a lot of crap talk about it um, on the Jeep forums, but let's get rid of some of that fake news and... Okay, we're gonna do this a quick, easy video. This is my old oil pump. This is the Millings high volume oil pump. Made a couple of differences. This is three and a half inches long. This is three and a quarter inches long. The pickup tube, this one is a little bit longer. The milling seems to be a little bit shorter. I'll bring that in a, out in a little bit, but it's in the freezer. And the reason I have it in the freezer is because the to push this on, I don't have their tool and I will be tapping it in, but if I freeze it, I'm hoping that the metal shrinks a little bit and it goes in a little bit easier. Now let's talk about um, high volume versus high pressure. Okay, this is a high volume pump. This is the, your standard pump. The only difference between this pump and this pump is there's a gear in here. This gear is a little bit taller. That little gear being a little bit taller is gonna shoot more oil through your system. You notice how I'm not saying boosting your pressure the difference between the pressure would be there are springs in these units the spring in that unit is what's going to determine your pressure uh so even though this is a high volume and it will increase your oil pressure you're not actually using the spring for the pressure you're using just the volume to increase the oil um, flow now why do I want this? Is because this motor has 194,000 miles on it. If you can put more oil through the system, you're actually going to have a healthier motor, and that you sh that's why your oil pressure should go up. So that is why I'm putting it in. Now I'm going to he hear a lot of hate because they say the pickup is going to be hitting the oil pan. It might, but um, I ordered a new oil pan because my oil pan has a hole in it. Well, almost a hole. It's rusted. So I'll find out about that. But all the measurements, I put this against my block and compared it to this one. Be honest with you, because of the pickup and everything, I think they're about the same. I really don't see um, a big difference. I will measure when I get the oil pan and I'll show you how to do that so you know you have enough clearance for it. But that is why I'm putting this in. Okay, I got everything ready to put this um, pickup on this oil pump. Two different hammers, a heavier one, a lighter one. I got the bolt to make sure that the pickup hole uh, lines up with the pump. I got a pair of pliers. I read my directions. I already checked out that it's not in uh, fringing in the crank or the rods. Um, I'm using a Paramex Aviation former gasket where the sleeve slides down. You don't have to, it doesn't call for it. Saw it on a video, I actually think it's a really good idea because you want this thing to be airtight because any air gets through, you're gonna get less of that suction of the pump. So I also have a glove because I'm pulling this um, receive um, pickup out of the freezer. So I don't want to have cold hands. I just want to be able to concentrate. I'm putting this thing in. So the whole thing, if this works out the right way, is I'm going to grab the pair of pliers, go around the wider, before the wider part of the pump. I'm going to hold it. I'm going to take my uh, middle hammer, start tacking it in. Take my bigger hammer. I need a little bit more power. So let's go do this. All right, be right back. the prettiest couple of scratches okay a few scratches but it's in there it's lined up no problem I will prime this before I put it in make sure everything is flowing okay that seal seems to be all around so I'm happy with that like I said not the prettiest but $90 for a tool I can make a tool or I can just do it that way 
and it seems to shoot in there no problem. A little bit more of a pain in the ass than I was expecting, but it's in there 100%. So you can tell by the hole is lined up 100%. Oil pump is on. Now when I put this in, it torques to 17. You notice on here, it's not perfectly straight. It sits flat, but I think part of the problem with some people with the oil pan is they shift it over when they're tightening it up. I placed it flat and tightened it, and that's the line I got. And I'm gonna show you the oil pan right now. So this is the oil pan. Now, like I said before, my oil pan was rusted, so I bought a Crown um, oil pan. Now, one thing I did like about Crown, it's not made in China, it's made in Taiwan. You don't think it makes a difference, it does. Um, this is where I'm touching. Now, if you have a stock oil pan, you have a baffle right here. I'm gonna show a picture about the baffle. Now, if you have a baffle, I have a feeling that's where a lot of people have to cut it out or bang it out, because if you look at that little dot right there, it's that's where it touched. I also touched, I've never heard of it, but right there. But that's barely touching, so I'm gonna take a hammer and dolly, and I don't even think I have to, because the pan laid flat, but I'm gonna just give it a little bump right there, a little bit bump right there so i'm just gonna and then i'll retest it and then i'm gonna test put a drill bit on the bottom of the oil pan and then what i'll do is see if it's touching down here okay let's let's do that now that you massaged your pan to fit this and i really like i said i don't think i had to i just did it just to make sure it fit you need to put a 3 8 drill bit on your pickup screen not to pick up itself the screen. The first time I did it, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'll show you the pan, I put it up on the pickup, that was bad. You need to put it on the screen, you could use white grease, I happen just to use grease on there, so if it touches the oil pan, you can tell. And now, this, I pushed, I did it twice. The first time, um, it seemed just to touch right on this edge, and then I just pushed up on the oil pan, the, oil pick up a little bit and then I did it again and I'll show you no problem at all so here is the oil pan again that's where I banged it out and we really can't even tell it's with little taps here's where <laughs> first time and I put it on the pickup you can see the scratches right there I was kind of nervous and then I went back and it, it said specifically put it on the screen here's where the screen is and you can see that's fine right there um, no problem at all. Now, like I said, the first time I put it on, I did get a little smatch of oil right there. All I did was push up on the um, oil pump a little bit. I mean, not like He-Man style, just a little bit. And I did it again. And it's really hard to get that drill bit to be flush on that screen. So I actually think the first time that was the reason when I retaped it and I went around a few times and made it really tight. I didn't get it twice I did it and I didn't get anything. So you need to make sure that you want to do this. Um, is it just a plug and play? No, I actually don't think it is. I wish Millings would do a couple of things different, like send a damn oil pump with the pickup already connected. That'd make my life a lot easier. That was the hardest part of this thing. Second, I think um, if they just milled it a little bit differently, this wouldn't be an issue and maybe make the pickup maybe just a couple millimeters shorter. That wouldn't be an issue. They would sell a shitload more. But again, who am I? I'm just a guy that actually uses products and, you know, tells you what I think of it. These corporations don't like to listen to us. I happen to like millions because their products are good, but God damn, listen to some <laughs> um, people out on the street and like, just do two little changes and you'd have such a bigger clientele. Do I think it's worth it? Hell yeah, I do. This motor has 194,000 miles on it. The cam bearings are probably worn out. The main bearings are probably going. That extra oil um, volume is going to help this motor last to 350. Is it worth it? Yeah. Did I go overboard and maybe, you know, with some other stuff I bought? Yes. But that gave me the ability to go overboard without rebuilding this motor. Now, if I get the 100,000 miles out of this motor, I'm happy. I mean, for the amount of money I put into it, you tell me, you know, where you can put a, you know, a couple hundred bucks into a motor and it lasts you 100,000 miles. Come on. Really? You know, it's up to you. Is it plug and play? No. Like I said, it's not plug and play. But can you... Um, extend the life of your motor yes i think you can so i hope you enjoyed this video you know hit the like hit the subscribe you know 
and tell me what you think. And um, I do have a couple other mods, and I'm trying to stay away from China mods. So um, I got a couple American mods. I got a Taiwan oil pan this time, but I really am trying to stay away from China. But it's getting harder and harder nowadays.